All right, so as you may or may not know, I'm doing the hill climb season next year in the UK. Well, this year, sorry, in the UK, which is basically a series of short climbs. Um, and there's loads around the country, and it's basically like time trial up a climb, um, and it's really good fun. But basically, there's no UCI minimum weight limit, and there is a lot of competition to have the lightest bike, and people will have five kilo bikes I race against. So it's pretty important that you do save weight, because although everyone always says, oh, bike weight doesn't matter, it's like, well, it, it just does. Like, okay, it might not make the difference, like, hugely, but, like, in these hill climbs, they're very, like, hard bought and, like, you really do need to save weight if you can. And how, it, well, obviously, it depends how much money you have. But anyway, right, so we have my giant TCR. Um, this is weighed with the water bottles on, um, Garmin mount was on, but the Wahoo wasn't, sorry. Um, anything else? Bar tape was on, just, like, general setup, but no bottles, obviously, and no pump. And it weighed in at 7.2 kilos, um, which I was pretty happy about. I was like, that's, that's not actually too bad. Um, obviously, pedals and um, all the rest of it. So anyway, the frame set apparently is 1.36 kilos, um, but I'm not, I'm not changing the frame set. Uh, so the saddle at the moment is a giant contact SLR saddle. So that's 225 grams. And I found one on AliExpress, which we'll be able to see here, I hope, um, which is 100, uh, 117 grams. So that's going to save me 108 grams, cost 14 pounds. So you can see this is the cost per gram. So you're basically paying, spending 14p um, to save uh, one gram. So that's actually, you know, like pretty good, to be honest. Uh, the internet doesn't seem like it's working. So we will not be able to see any of the links, unfortunately. Uh, handlebars, I'm going to keep the same. I could upgrade, but I really want to get 36s and I can't see anywhere that seems to sell them. So I think I'm just going to keep them that same. They're about 240 grams, I believe. Uh, the stem, again, um, I think I'm going to change to stay the same because the other stem, basically with the giant TCR, you only you go only have certain amount of stems because the, the length is, the width, sorry, is different. So I basically would have to buy the giant contact SLR1 stem, which as you can see here is 135 pounds and it only saves me 15 grams. So that's definitely not worth it. That's nine pounds per gram. So we're not, we're not going to be doing that. Uh, we then have bar tape, so obviously I just take up bar tape, that's free, probably about 20 grams, maybe a little less, but anyway, that's still pretty good. Brakes, uh, I believe, are 388 grams for the pair, and if I get some EE brakes, uh, it would save me 400, uh, no, sorry, 226 grams, um, but the cost is 650 pounds. So actually, it's not too bad on the pounds per gram thing, but I'm definitely not going to change my brakes because I'm really not that serious, and it it's a real big outlay, so we will not be doing that. Uh, we then have wheels, which this is the thing that I'm sort of confused about. I'm not sure if I'm going to do, but there are these Hunt wheels, um, which are less than a thousand grams for the pair, and they only cost a thousand pounds. And you might be like a thousand pounds a lot for wheels, but to be fair, they are very, very light, um, like really light, and don't cost very much. There are some caveats. You can't be over 78 kilos. If you're over 70 kilos, you have to have a mechanic check them every two months. Well, that's their recommendation. Luckily, I'm not over 70. They don't recommend racing them, like just doing road races. They don't recommend descending. They're basically only designed to go uphill. So it is quite a lot of money just for that. But if you think I might be racing these hill climbs for like loads of years, like five years, and I'll probably keep the same wheels. But anyway, the cost is £2.50 per gram. And I would say 434 grams. So it doesn't seem actually a huge deal, but wheels just feel so much nicer. Like it's really hard to quantify, but when you get super light wheels, just the acceleration and everything is really, really nice. So that's what I'm debating about. So I'm definitely going to get the saddle. The wheels, I don't know what I'm going to do. I might talk to Hunt and be like, boys, do you want to give me a little bit of discount? Um, and then, you know, I'll say like, good wheels or whatever, but I don't know. We'll see, that's the, that's the one I'm a bit confused about. But obviously, they're tubular wheels, so then I'd have to go buy tubular tyres, um, which are 80 grams lighter, uh, which is pretty, pretty big indeed, to be honest. Um, yeah, that, that's quite a lot. Uh, and only £1.50 per gram uh, compared to my tyres. If I don't change wheels, um, I've got here... Uh, where is it? Ah, oh, tires. Yeah, I'd so I'd save about forty grams on the tires, seventy five p, and I'd also change to um. I'd also change to latex inner tubes as well, which I'm not sure. Oh yeah, I do have here latex inner tubes. They would save me about thirty grams, and that would cost me thirteen pounds. So again, that's pretty good 
grams per um, cost like pounds per gram. So I'm definitely going to do that if I change change some latex and choose. Plus they are faster as well in terms of rolling resistance. Um, that's the only thing with the uh, with the uh, tubular wheels. Tubular tires are actually slower than clinches most of the time. Uh, the Vittoria courses, the tubulars are actually very fast. Um, but in general, tubulars are slower just because they have more friction. Because you think in a tubular, you've got the tie, you've got the inner tube, and you've got the, they've got them, they're sewn together, so there's a lot more friction. In a clincher, they have less friction, and then tubulars, because you just have the interface between the, the tire and the clincher causing friction. And then in a tubulars, that's the fastest. But um, I'm not going to be getting tubulars like Vittoria and Corsa TLRs because they're just too expensive. And I have SOX Turbo Cottons at the moment, which I managed to get very cheaply. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is obviously take off the bottle cages. That will save about 78 grams, I, I believe. So that's pretty good savings. Uh, and then we have the rear derailleur. So I'll just, I'm just going to keep that the same. I'm not going to upgrade that. Uh, we also have the front derailleur, sorry, which I am going to get rid of. I believe I'm going to run a one by system. And I think I'm going to have a 42 tooth on the front. No, a 40 tooth on the front. Um, it's a Garbarook. Uh, chain ring, I believe. Apparently, it says about 120 grams, maybe a little bit more. It's hard to say exactly, but that will definitely sell, save me quite a lot of weight. So that will be very good. Um, we then have cassette. I could change to a Rota Uno cassette, which I believe is about 145 grams, saving me 153 grams. However, it costs an outrageous 260 pounds. So alas, I will not be doing that. But again, the pounds per gram is not actually too bad. One pound seventy. I believe anything below two pounds seems pretty good. But wheels, yeah, that's the problem with the wheels. They aren't actually that good savings pounds per gram. But then they feel so much nicer, so it's hard to hard to justify. Crank set. Um, I think this is the chain rings. So I'm going to save some weight on the chain. I'm not hundred percent sure what I meant by that. Pedals. Um, I could buy some the lighter look kettle pedals, but they only save me ten grams and cost one hundred and thirty pounds. So I'm not I'm not going to be doing that. And then we have the clincher tires. So this is basically like if I don't change, then I'm going to change from the Victoria courses to the S Works Turbo Cottons, which will save me about forty grams for the pair. Uh, cost thirty pounds because I bought them for fifteen pounds each for my friend. So that's pretty good. And um, they're also faster. They are, they have they're the fastest clinchers actually out there. And they cost 75p per gram, so that's pretty good. And then last but not least, and very important, and people always forget this, is quick release skewers. I have forgot it, that's why it's last. Uh, quick release skewers, I believe, I estimate mine to be about 105 to 120 grams, something like that. I haven't weighed them, but just going on the internet, that sounds about right. And the ones I'm going to get from China will be 50 grams. So that's a saving of 55 grams, um, and the cost is five pounds so that again is an absolute great saving so i'm going to go go to aliexpress soon uh order a real lightweight saddle order those quick release skewers um and then i need to order my front chain ring but i actually have no idea what i'm really going to be doing with the front chain ring so i might try and get someone to like help me figure out what i need to do with it because i don't really want to mess it up uh, and it seems a little bit more complicated but if you have any idea how to set up a one by system that'd be quite useful um it is going to be really annoying having a one by system because i'm actually trying to ride like not hill climbs, it will be like anything over like 45k an hour, I'll just be spinning out madly, but anyway, that will be good, so these are my savings, and I predict, so if I do all of these, my bike should be about 6.3 kilos, um, but it's a lot, like the thing is, is that it, that's, then it will cost a thousand two hundred pounds, it might be a little less, because I, I think the um, changing to a one by saves more weight, because then you can also get rid of the cable, um, so I think it might save a little bit more weight than that, but if you ignore, so let's say I didn't change them with the wheels, that would be like 400 grams there. Um, well, actually, no, it would be a little bit more. Oh, no, yeah, let's just say 400 grams, I'd say. Then it would be 6.7 kilos, so sub six, so under the UCI limit. Um, and it would only cost about, um, yeah, it wouldn't cost very much at all, to be honest, um, really. So that would be quite good. I'm trying to figure it out because I, I can't figure out where all the mass is coming from. Oh, yeah, because the tyres as well. So, yeah, so we took out a 1,000. Basically, if you take out these two, 1,200, then it's really not going to cost very much to ch save a lot of weight off my bike, which will be good. Um, so, yeah, I'd say my top tips, if you want to save weight on your bike, go one bike for the hill climb season, light saddle, light quick-release skewers, 
um, and that should really do it. Obviously, it take off bottle cages, take off bar tape, take off anything you don't need. I know some people even shave the hoods off, so that so the drops they just cut the drops off. But I quite like my zip bars, so I don't really want to do that. But anyway, those are my tips. That's what I'm going to do. Do you think I should buy the Hunt wheels or not? I'm I'm in two minds. It's quite a lot of money, and it does say 400 grams, but then they would feel nice. So it's it, that's gonna be interesting. The rest of the rest of the decisions are pretty obvious to be honest. But I might need to buy some new pedals anyway because mine are unclipping a little bit. So I'm gonna have a look at that. Um, probably just buy the same ones and try and get get the lightest ones possible. But anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy this video. If you've got any tips on saving weight, leave them below. And I'll see you in the next video.